Do you know, said Lucy, I really believe he means us to follow him. I have an idea he does, said Susan. What do you think, Peter? Well, we may as well try it, answered Peter. The robin appeared to understand the matter thoroughly. He kept on going from tree to tree, always a few yards ahead of them, but always so near that they could easily follow it. In this way, it led them on slightly downhill. Whenever the robin alighted, a little shower of snow would fall off the branch. Presently, the clouds parted overhead and the winter sun came out, and the snow all around them grew dazzlingly bright. They had been traveling this way for about half an hour. With the two girls in front, when Edmund said to Peter, If you're not still too high and mighty to talk to me, I've got something to say which you'd better listen to.